Hello, fellow airsofters. I am here. Me, I am Mike. And I'm Drew. Yeah, let's go with that. And I will be doing a review on the Scar L by Echo One USA. It is a replica of a U.S. Spec Ops assault rifle. It is very heavy and nice, though. It has ambidextrous fire selector, as you can see, ambidextrous. The pull switch here that you use to pull it back and access the hop. As you can see, the inside of the gun there. Can also be unscrewed and put on right here. This is the rail, you can see, on both sides. It has a underneath rail that goes back to the mag. A top rail, as you can see, I have an inch. Uh, I forgot the name of it. It raises your scope an inch because I have one of those nice masks that you can buy. Uh, the rest of the gun is plastic here, here, all here, and here. Uh, the access to the battery is pretty nice. It, uh, open it up, you have the battery right in there, nice and snug. And right at the battery, there's also a button you push, move the sock out, push the sock in. I would recommend before you take out the battery to move the sock all the way back, so it works a little better for you, because the battery fits really snug in there. Also, on the gun, it does not come with a red dot, it comes with a flip up sight for the front and back. Uh, the back sight is considered a P sight because of how small it is, the hole in it. It has up and down nile terms on it and left and right. You may or may not have to adjust them when you are doing the gun. Now let's do a little accuracy test. I will be aiming for the birdhouse over there with my high capacity mag. That I will recommend for anyone who buys this gun. First, I will be doing semi automatic fire. Pop open my red dot. Oh, wait, red dot? You want to look inside the red dot? Okay. Red dot? Sorry, that was bad, really bad, guys. Sorry. Why is this not working? Oh, I cranked it. Maybe this thing's loose. It's loose. Oh, there we go. Alright. And now, fully automatic. <laughs> Shit, <damn laughs> <goodness. laughs> I was not expecting that. As you can see, it is turning from the force that this gun throws out of it. It has a decent size of a magazine. The high cap comes nice for it. I will recommend this gun to anyone. Uh, the file magazine release is here. You see the dreaded BB file. Oh, that sucks. Then, really? Now, yeah, that's really it for the gun, guys. Besides this, I would not advise doing this in the when you are playing because the uh, gun on itself there's a wire sticking out, and it could get cut, and you could lose your whole gun. As you can see, sock folds out, stay here. It's a smaller, lighter ver oh, the version to carry. As you can see, though, the wire that connects the battery to the gun, it has its main thing right here. I use this for storage, but that's about it. I have a hard get back, and yes, that is about it, guys. And uh, one recommendation. The butt sock, the rubber part here, it will fall off, most likely. It will be really loose. Get some Gorilla Glue, Super Glue, anything, and glue all around the inside of it, and then stick it in. Then put it flat down like this, and let the Gorilla Glue dry. Right. Also, I did, it did not, it came with the black flash hider, but... You have to put it on. Uh, if you're going to an airsoft place, I don't know what the rules are for yours, but mine, they only allow it if it came with the gun, and mine did. So, yeah, have fun with your Scar L if you're going to buy it. I re recommend it for your first gun. 
and have fun with it. After all, it is a nice gun. So, yeah, later. Next episode is about the M16.